get ready for game five, the deciding game winner take all. I remember the atmosphere, the electricity in Jacobs Field that night. Being at home, we thought we had a chance to win that ball game and that series. Right, now it takes a hit from Tommy to tie this game. Tommy hits a drive to deep right center. Away back. Gone. I was blessed in that game to hit two home runs. My first one came off Saberhagen. My second one was off of Derek Lowe. He delivers. Tommy hits a drive to deep center. This ball is going. It is gone. 8-7 drive. Jim Tomey has electrified Jacobs Field. And Pedro Martinez up in the Boston pen. It was a moment for me to take it upon myself to see whether I was going to be able to help the team or not. I felt like the team needed me at that moment more than any other. Obviously, as the game progressed, we knew Pedro was out there. I mean, anytime Pedro comes in the game, it's impactful. I guess adrenaline and wanting to win so bad for a city desperate for a championship. Strike three right down the middle. 2-2 two -two pitch. A swing and a miss. Well, you'd never know he's hurt. 55 pitches so far for Martinez. Runner goes, 3-2. A swing and a miss. You know, as, as I warm up, I'm feeling better. Once I got close to the end, I said I, I refuse to let it go. Down two games to none. The Boston Red Sox have come storming back, and they are in the American League Championship Series. No hits allowed by Pedro Martinez from the fourth inning on. It was a great series, and when Pedro came in, to credit him, he did a good job. To me, it was more important just how the whole city felt and how I was called to deliver and I was able to do that. That's the up and down of the postseason, that there is letdowns, there's highs, there's lows. And the great thing of the game is if you play it long enough, you experience both of them.